Hey guys, we're back at you with another YouGoPro Math Correction, YouGoProBaseball.com video slash article slash question slash answer. I'm John Madden, a.k.a. Minor League Mad Dog, a.k.a. the smartest man on the baseball field. But we had to call in the troops on this one. This one was a tough one. We had to call my friend Troy Bell who is a math genius. Uh, I grew up with Troy. I played baseball with Troy in high school. Played with him in community college and not only is he a great baseball player but he is a math genius like Einstein. Uh, Einstein-esque I like to call it. Uh, anyway, so if there's any problems in my equation or formula or math you need to contact Troy directly. Um, on his Facebook. Again, his name is Troy Beal. No relation to Jessica Beal, but almost as good looking. Um, and he will make a, a nice, fine wife one day. So, anyway, his Facebook, I'll leave a link right here or a URL for his Facebook so you can leave him uh, a message on his wall whenever you feel like it. And if you want to prank dial him at prankdial.com, which I recommend, a very funny site to use. Uh, and free, you get three free a day, at least now a days you get three free a day. Uh, his phone number is, I'm not going to give you a phone number out, Troy, I'm just messing with you. Uh, but anyway, what we did, what we're trying to do on this uh, equation or, or formula is calculate how fast you can throw a baseball without using a radar gun, with only a stopwatch, alright? So pretty much if you know the distance of how far you're throwing, and you have a stopwatch available, you can find out how fast you're throwing that ball in miles per hour. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, the first example we'll go through real quick is, is a standard 60 feet, 6 inch uh, pitcher's mound. Okay? So in reality, we're not going to be releasing the baseball at 60 feet, 6 inches, right? Because we're going to be throwing the baseball and we're going to be releasing the baseball about up here. Now, a lot of people think you release the baseball way out here, but really you're releasing it back here. So for this example, we're going to say that we, um, we're going to take off from the 60 feet 6 inches. We're going to take off about 4 and a half feet, which is to me seems about right. For me, that would be about right. I have a short stride, so uh, for everyone else, it's going to be a little different. You're going to have to count, you know, get up there and see where you think you release the ball and measure that distance from the rubber, okay? Um, so I'm going to take off 4 and a half feet, which will give us what? Uh, 60, um, 60 and a half feet minus four and a half feet would be 60 and a half feet, uh, 60 point, or 60 feet, 6 in, 60 feet, 6 inches. Wait, no. It'll give us 56 feet. Excuse me. See, this is why you need to go contact Troy on his Facebook and tell him his math is already wrong. No, I'm just kidding. I read it wrong. All right, so 56 feet. All right. Um, then what you're going to do um, from there is we got to take the 56 feet. We can't leave it in uh, feet because we want to calculate miles per hour. So we have to translate feet into miles. So we're going to take the 56 feet and convert it into how many miles that is. So we're going to take 56 divided by 5,280, which is how many feet are in a mile. So divide that by... Um, how many feet are in a mile? Five, two, eight, zero. Okay. So what we're going to come out is, with is 56 divided by 5,280 comes out to 0 0.0106. Okay. And that's miles. Um, that's how many miles we're throwing the baseball, which is kind of weird to think about. We're throwing 0 0.0106 miles. To the catcher. Um, anyway, now we've got our time. So you take your stopwatch, and you you go from when you, the ball comes out of your hand to the time it hits the catcher's glove. And let's say we do about it takes us about 0 0.42 of a second. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna now since we're doing seconds, we have to get that into hours because we're going we're trying to get miles per hour. So we're gonna take 0 0.42 divided by 60 divided by 60 because there's 60 seconds in a minute and there's 60 minutes in an hour okay so our answer is going to be if 
if you're throwing 0.42 of a second, it's going to be 0 0.000116 hours. Okay. Um, so now we're going to use the equation, the formula, or the equation to get to get our answer. No matter how where you're throwing, you could be throwing from the outfield as long as you know the distance and you got the stopwatch. You can use this formula. Okay, it's distance divided by time equals speed. Okay. So we got our 0 .0106 for distance. That's how many miles we're throwing the ball. Divided by 0 .000116, which is the time in hours that we're throwing the ball. And this will give us our miles per hour. So if you're throwing the ball, what did I say? Point, uh, if you're throwing the ball 56 feet at 0.42 of a second that means you're throwing 91.379 miles per hour you're throwing gas all right you're throwing gas right now so that's how you find out yeah, anyway that's how you find out um, how fast you're throwing off of a 60 foot 6 inch mound which we calculated at 56 feet at the release point to the catcher's glove um, and uh, and at the at the uh, speed we determined okay at the uh, time we determined now this article and video was originally started because I did a video on the distance between home and second how far the catchers have to throw from home to second so real quick I'm gonna go through and do an example for the catchers how far it's gonna be let's so we gotta take the 127 this is the distance between home and second uh, 127 feet 127.279 feet okay we're going to minus a little bit because we're going to get our release point and where the shortstop catches it, which is going to be a little closer than the bag. So we're going to say it's about 121 feet, 121.779 feet. All right. <clears throat> um, now you've got a catcher who throws about a 2.1 down to second. But we're not going to take the whole 2.1 because it's only going to be the time that the ball is out of his hand and getting to the shortstop. Okay, so let's say for example, it takes about 0.94 of a second. Now, of course, this is going to be different. Again, you just take your stopwatch, have someone watch you when you when the ball gets out of your hand, you hit start, and when the ball hits the catch, uh, this short stops glove, you hit stop. Okay, so let's say for this example, it takes about 0.94 of a second. All right, now we're going to do the same equation that we did just a second ago. For our pitchers, we're going to take one point, or excuse me, 121.779 feet divided by 5280 feet in a mile, which gives us 0 0.023 miles. Okay? Then we're going to go down and get our, our, our time, our hours. Okay? We got 0.94 of a second divided by 60 seconds in a minute divided by 60 minutes in an hour which gives us point zero 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 two six one hours okay so now we got our D and our T now we gotta get our MPH so we got point zero two three divided by point zero 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 two six one which equals about eighty eight point one two miles per hour a pretty good throw down a second um, so you can you know gauge off of this equation um, of what you're doing and see if your your timing's on or if your distance is on but that's how you calculate how fast you can throw a baseball with no radar gun and just a stopwatch and like I said before you can do this for anywhere if you're out in the outfield and you know you got something to measure the distance of how far you are in the outfield or how far you're throwing to and you have a stopwatch you can find out how fast you're throwing okay again if there's any problems you can contact me leave them uh, uh, a message on my wall on the website Facebook Twitter wherever you're at the blog the forum which is coming soon um, just leave me a message get back I'll get back to you um, and if the math is wrong contact Troy and uh, that's how you do it you go pro baseball